Hi guys, I'm Anissa and I'm sharing with you three of my favourite books. One is The Great Gatsby by Scott Fitzgerald and my reason for picking this is because you truly get transformed and taken into this world of Gatsby and how he lives and the way he thinks and you're just so curious about this character and the other characters and um, I just love the very poetic nature of the book and it was one of the few books where I felt like the film actually did it justice so that would be one. Um, the second one I'm going to pick is called Crushing by T.D. Jakes, um, a favourite pastor of mine that I love to follow. I find him so motivational as a speaker, but also as a writer, um, so competent, so descriptive, so well-informed. And it's about his life experience, and it's also biblical in nature, so it goes back to the word, and he makes... Uh, these beautiful analogies because the Bible has a lot of references to fruit and things coming to fruition and seeds being planted and the importance of watering those seeds and allowing them to grow in the right way for the environment to be correct for that growth that there's so much beauty in that connection to real life and how we do things in real life and I generally love studying human behavior so I just I love that book I thoroughly enjoyed reading it and the last but not least it's probably ranked as my all-time favorite um, it would be The Alchemist by Pol Polo Coelho and uh, my reason for choosing that I think it just I think the, um, the comparisons you can make to real life and to apply it to your life is so profound and I think you really get taken on this journey and I think it's so encouraging for anyone questioning their purpose and, and destiny and um, all of it. I think that it just it's one of those books that I know I could read again and again and again and actually talking about it makes me feel like I think it's time to read this book again. Um, I just really, really loved it. Um, so that's three of the books that I thoroughly have enjoyed reading that I think I would happily read all three of them again. It was very, very hard to pick and I'm sure there's many, many more that I would consider favourites. But for now, those are my three.